was gonna try to pour this beer. Maybe I'll just drink it out of the can. Like no, they always say IPAs no, the, are supposed to pour. Yeah, no, do the do do it. Oh, I was gonna say put it put the mic close to it so you can but, get some ASMR. Oh, AS, should, ASMR. Yeah, damn it, I failed. Still, You I'm the worst. Better. You aren't the worst. This this ASMR pot uh, ASMR podcast is going nowhere. Well, that's just because we haven't left yet. My name is Alan Thick. On TV, I play a father. In real life, I am a father. This video, when your mom and dad break up, is made for you. There you go. See, um, I um, so I got it's in a cup holder, so. I, you can't see, no. but there is a table here, like a small little, okay, like invalid table, like that's like a TV tray, like a TV <laughs> tray kind of thing. I got for my birthday for my wife. Oh, and it's got USB ports on it. Oh, it's one of those. I don't know if I'll need, but it's got a, like a pencil holder, or whatever. It's got a cup holder, so I got a beer can in the cup holder. The beer can's like right here. You can probably see. I see the. the I see the beer can. So, the this glass won't fit in the cup holder. No, it's a glass. Maybe the bottom of it. No, the bottom. Uh oh. No. Microphone hit my face. It's okay. The microphone hit my face. I'm a little bit of a microphone. What's your name? What's your name? What's I can tell it's, it's resting against it. I can see it it's resting on my cheek. So that's part of go. the thing. It's like, I think I need to attach this. Damn it. So this base isn't going to work so good. It slides. So. I have to get a god damn it. I have to get a thingamabobber that this can attach oh. to that that clamps on to there. Okay. Either that or the other thing I was browsing that the podcast network is a, a whole boom mic that's like the boom stands on the floor. Oh no, that's up like and that's then reaches that, over. So like maybe I, I just was, need that. Dude, I was I I wanted to go to Goodwill to look for old school table lamps. Oh or yeah. Old school floor lamps that were like that. Yeah, and you could use it as that, right? Yeah. Repurpose it. Exactly. Yeah, you're a smart I, man. Well, I mean, I can say this now because I guess he's out of jail. Uh, uh -oh. I mean, I can really I can really lean into that uh junkyard gang aesthetic that i love so much you can make music with an open spring. oh bill cosby yeah which i believe was because of royalties i believe felicia rashad, rashad was i want my fucking check yo and i want my money now yeah fuck that creepy fuck i'm not going anywhere till i get my money you think she supported him for the royalty money? I hope so. I don't. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm. I, I still feel, I, I feel bad for having supported him, and and you know, sure, I sided with Eddie Murphy. Hello, suck this and MF and kiss my big black stuff and suck it and stick it down in your mouth and suck it, suck it. When it came to the, you know, style of comedy, but I still want yeah. to respect him for what he fucking did. Well, I yeah, I but... spy for fuck's sake. Come on. Yeah, but you had no way of knowing as a young oh, no. kid in no. Ohio that Bill Cosby was raping everybody. No, I did not know that lewds were such a <laughs> one-sided thing for him. <laughs> Kids on TV. Pull your pants up, black people. I was on TV in the 80s. <laughs> I can talk down to you because I had a successful sitcom. <laughs> yeah, it was great women, Bill Cosby, so I had a crazy damn couple notches. I don't curse on stage. Well, yeah, you're a rapist, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm really just trying to test this mic thing out. I don't. Well, I mean, I feel trapped. I feel caged boy. in a mad swirling pattern of terror. It, I have you, this thing over my lap. Well, it's, no, oh, it's, it's resting on my lap? my belly. Oh yeah, no, that's that, like, that's. Oh wow! It's like, oh shit! Yeah, it's all like right. A tray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it like just sits. It's just got short little legs that sit on the couch. Dude, you know, dude, what you what you need to get it's is a like hospital. Those, all right, this. 
you, I mean, I, this, I think I know what you're going to say. And I was looking at these on on line right before I opened this present for my wife. I was looking at these. Are you talking about those tables that go under the couch and it's got a no? It's I was got wheels get that, on it yeah. and it's got yeah, a tray. No, yeah. yeah, I was gonna. Hamacher Schlemmer has a version. In 1867, Alfred Hamacher and William Schlemmer bought the business from William Tolner, renaming it Hamacher and Schlemmer. Yeah, they're not. They're Sharper not expensive. Image. Yeah, but they're not cheap. I mean, there's the, there's expensive ones, but I I oh, saw dude. one for like thirty bucks. Oh, dude! If you like can twenty bucks. Fucking, if you can get one for twenty bucks, I'd be willing to throw that away in twenty in like two months just to say, yeah. just to see how it feels. That's no, my, dude, thought, I, my thought. Yeah, I said. Th- yeah, yeah no, but part of me is like, so here you'll see my MacGyver. <laughs> stuff like, there's a PVC pipe that I had. So I had just, I think I probably told you some of this. I already bought, I had bought a bunch of PVC pipe pipes and, and then other stuff before I went the PVC route to try to fix my pool. My pool hoses went bad this year Mm -hmm. and it's a above ground shitty pool. You know, it's a shitty pool that most people, it's a pool above ground, below ground, but it wasn't cheap either. It wasn't like an Intex thing. I just throw away. It was like a, it was like a, it was a, it was a freestanding fucking pool. It was a few grand they cost, right? So we hey, didn't have the money. Hey. I had to finance it. So, but it's not fancy. It doesn't look no. nice. It looks like a shitty above ground white trash pool. So, and, you know, I was taking care of it well and everything. We got it in 2014, hmm. I think. Nice. So it's been around a few years. Yeah. But every year I disconnect everything and I take the giant sand filter, which is super heavy, hurts my back. And the oh. pump and everything I put it in the garage and then I put it back out, you know, for winter safekeeping. And then last year I got lazy and I thought, you know, <gasps> it doesn't get that cold here. Oh no. You know, I live in North Carolina. I live in the I south. Know exactly. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I just leave everything out oh. and I'll just put a tarp over it. Oh no. And so I did that. And that just halfway through the winter, the tarp was blown off. And I was like, eh, it's fine. It's already February. It's already almost done. Oh, and so the the uh, pump didn't work anymore. It yeah. was all rusted out, you know. Well, it, expe- it 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 was affected by the temperature change in the weather. Yeah, probably. I mean, it was old too, so I don't know what the warranty on it is, well, but it was it, from it, 2014, and this is 2021. So yeah, no, it, uh, those things are carry the three pushing your luck after years. five. Yeah. yeah, and that's what they say. They they last about seven to ten years, whatever. So I was like, ah, if you shit. take fucking spotless care of them, like clean them out before clean them out and i never did that no one fucking does pool guys don't do that hammacher and schlemmer hammacher schlemmer 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 Carlos Summer here.